all three of the networks were in the <clears throat> syndication business. I think we were probably the strongest of the three. Uh, NBC took one port, one course, and ABC took another. I took the position that each CBS shareholder ought to get another piece of paper uh, <clears throat> for the new company we were going to put together when we spun off the syndication, and it was named Viacom. Uh, <clears throat> Merle Jones, who had just retired, <clears throat> I invited him back to be chairman of the board, and uh, I think uh, a man from Chicago was made head of the unit, and one day, I, and the first thing that happened was <clears throat> the FCC said you can't have Merle Jones as chairman because he had a long history with CBS and still has sh stock in CBS and they'll have undue control. Uh, Merle wanted to go to the Supreme Court on it. <clears throat> I didn't think it was wise to do that. And so I yielded, <clears throat> much, I think, to Merle's unhappiness. Clark George was the man who was made the active operating head of the, I think was called president of the group. Anyway, he called me one day and said he and some of the men in that new division wanted to come see me. I think it was on Easter Sunday, but I'm not sure. Anyway, Clark George. Ralph Baruch, the lawyer that had been in the law department and had been moved into this group, there were about six or seven of them came to me and said they were unhappy with the leadership that Clark George provided. George was sitting right there in the meeting and they had a candidate of their own. And <clears throat> mindful of the fact that the FCC had said we couldn't control this new entity, I had to be very careful what I said. And I said, you know, it's up to you guys. You're running the company. Uh, I'm a big shareholder for the time being, but I probably won't be allowed to keep my stock. And they picked Ralph Baruch as the head of that. And that's how that group got started. 